days. Garden update. Those two right there are the 2x6 headers that have to go on the inside in here. And those will be put up here in the next day or so. Just got to get things done. Um, things have been mowed, but things have not been weed eated or weeded. There's marigolds in there. Um, strawberries are doing great. I just ran a goat out of here, so I'm actually checking to see how much damage the goat did before I got her out of here. I've had pigs on my hands today and yeah but look lots of them coming up we've been harvesting and eating about a handful out of here every day never get to make anything much but hey um do have to weed eat around there get the little push mower out here see this stuff isn't i know i move it rj actually mowed for me so that's a good thing all right so we have the marigolds um some of which are doing really good and some not so good like i said nothing's been weeded um we have our little one here big one here different sizes all the way around this guy right here is being taken over so we'll get that out of there see that's a really little one but seeds are self-sowing so we're going to go ahead and do that um butterfly bush has its first blooms on it isn't that awesome? Love it. Don't know what this is. It's got to be some kind of squash or pumpkin or something. Not sure. Um, these guys right here are just, they're huge. Um, like I said, they're, some of them are doing better than others. But this whole thing will be um, marigolds. There's just a few of them that are weak. And I, I guess I should have gotten them planted quicker. I don't know. But anyway, um, there's that. And then, of course, the herbs. Well, looks like the goat ate my grass down. That's wonderful, isn't it? Um, basil, lavender. The catnip is doing wonderful. This is... Um, that's actually chocolate mint. This is not supposed to be in there, but this is lemon balm. And it's growing out quite nicely. This is the sage. It's already gone to bloom. And there's thyme that's already gone to bloom. And see here, she's gonna try and find a, another hole and get in. So, Camilla, no. This is crazy, isn't it? She actually knows how to look for little holes. Go on. And what it is, is if any of these are broke, she'll push her head through there and get in here. So, um, ghosts are actually pretty smart when it comes to that. And that's why she's walking the fence line looking for them. Um, okay, so back to this, we have the big trees, the little tree, and I think I'm going to try, we straightened this stem, or this trunk, I think we're going to try and straighten some more of these, so, um, we'll see how that goes, I just have to put a, um, T-post out here, and see if it can take it, um, and then we'll tie it up to it, and of course, sweetie just walked in here, this is not good. All right, I'm going to turn off the camera, get the goats out of here, and okay, I'll come back yes, to We're it. up at the other end right now, but this is tagged wool that's got to go around the trees, the fruit trees. The onions, um, i got to get out here and, and get this tall grass that's kind of taken over, but the onions are everywhere. You can see them here. And again, the goat has gotten in and gotten my lovely bell pepper. At this rate, I probably won't ever get any off of it. We have the tower was planted. And we have watermelons and I don't remember what all, but I gotta I haven't watered it for tonight, so that's why it looks dry. I water in the evening. So um, but you can see there's some sprouting going on, which is good. Again, the other bell pepper, which keeps getting eaten down. Mint, which I need to clear out. And just real quick, because it looks like my battery is going dead too. Um, of course, all the fruit trees, which I love. Then I've got zucchini right here. Look at this. Look down in here. Do you see the baby zucchini right there? Yes. And so I've been watching. I've got a couple that I'm getting ready to harvest. I thought I had another one. But I can't see in there right now and do the camera. But anyway, so I've got some zucchini coming up. Then in here... These are the gorgeous, this is something from last year. Who knows, it might even be watermelons. 
and then we have stuff over there that's from this year the peas they're gone i haven't found them um this is a volunteer right here um i planted some cabbage in here from seed but i'm not very good at cabbage with seed so yeah, it didn't work or didn't show up and then down in here which this little guy this little guy all the way across here is asparagus so i don't know if you can see one two three four five six asparagus plants so there's that um i think that's about it I, i've got to get out here and weed eat but i just didn't get it done today i had piggy issues and yeah and see this i left this out here and there's actually things coming in um tomatoes these are lufa gourds i just keep leaving them they didn't come in when they were in the barn but they're coming in now so and like i said someplace in there i thought there'd be sweet peas but they the goat bit off the vine so i'm guessing it's not coming in or not coming back but see we've got i think watermelon snake gourd and lufa gourds in here i don't know but anyway yeah those are doing really good so we'll have something um i don't know about the I hope these two are watermelon, but I don't know. They're supposed to be those big varieties. Anyway, all right, so a little bit going on. And uh, just a whole lot of this, that, 